I think we can all agree, can't we, the NHS here in the UK is on its knees. It's not fit for purpose. It's riddled with political correctness. And it's a huge, deep financial black hole that's gobbling up £18 billion of British taxpayers' money every year. And it's not getting better. Throwing money at the problem is not working. And that's what successive governments have done since I don't know when. The treatment you get is, well, shoddy. There are around 6.5 million people currently on the NHS waiting list and it's getting longer. It has low patient success rates. It has high mortality rates and very low consumer satisfaction. And there's not much patient choice either. Now, saying that, I'm not rubbishing the NHS as a whole. There are people working very hard in the NHS. They've dedicated their lives. They work long hours and they do the best with what they're given. And it's these particular nurses and doctors who have my full support. It's not an easy job, but it doesn't help when you have highly paid middle managers, DEI managers, diversity, equity, inclusion, and other woke, politically correct middle managers, non-jobs, who have absolutely nothing to do with healthcare, earning ridiculous king's ransom salaries with guilt-edged pensions. And it's just wrong. It really is wrong. But for some reason, the diehard Labour and Conservative voters, they like it as it is. The current system is fine. It doesn't need reform. Just chuck more money at it. And then what'll happen? It'll implode. It'll collapse. And I'll tell you what, folks, the rising population explosion added rapidly by mass migration, both legal and illegal, is putting heaps of pressure on the NHS. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised it's lasted this long. And politicians are absolutely terrified of the word privatisation. And they're scaring people as well from wanting reform to the uh, current system by telling people, well, the only reform for the NHS is privatisation. And privatisation means an American-style health system where if you don't get the money, you don't get treated or it bankrupts you. Well, folks, that's only in the United States. And Nigel Farage's idea is far better because he thinks we should be adopting the continental style of healthcare, in particular, the French. Now, French healthcare is superb. It is very much a universal healthcare system. It has a mix of private and public services. It's got relatively high expenditure, but high patient success rates and low mortality rates, along with high consumer satisfaction. The French system of healthcare covers both public and most private hospitals. And it provides health care for every resident in France, regardless of age, income or status. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. All you need is to be a legal resident of France. And it should be the same here. You see, one of the mistakes the NHS is doing here in the UK is you can be a foreigner, fly over to the UK, have expensive operations, and then you fly back to your home country and you haven't paid a penny. You've never contributed through national insurance. That doesn't happen in France. Now, even though you have to have health insurance cover in France, the healthcare costs are covered by both the state and through patient contributions, or what's known as co-payments. Senior citizens and people with chronic illnesses are covered for 100% of their medical costs. And the proof is in the pudding because countries with social health insurance like France, Germany, and others in Europe, they perform better than here in Britain with our NHS. They have low rates of death from avoidable causes, and it's just better all round. And that's what this country deserves. It deserves better. We deserve better. Because currently, you're working, you're paying national insurance, and using that money, the government dishes out contracts to companies who do things cheaper, on the cheap. And it's just ridiculous. It's that point now where this simply can't go on. So in a nutshell, those who can afford it pay into a healthcare insurance through tax. Those that can't afford it, they don't pay. But in the end, everyone gets the healthcare that they want. And nobody gets bankrupt because of medical bills. And to me, it makes sense. I mean, it's not perfect. We're not at that stage in human history where we have a, um, a space socialist Star Trek style healthcare. But at least now let's have one that's fairer, one that works and one that gets you better results. And by the way, nobody in Europe has gone bankrupt because of medical bills. I think everyone deserves that, don't you?
And there we go. That's my video. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.